Hello, my name is William James. I host the Bald Book Geek. All of my links are in the doobly doo, as always. Hi! I get bored with doing the spiel at the start of videos. So, I think I've just found the best thing on Audible ever. Ever, ever, ever. And, oh, you will not be disappointed. So, I'm a big Neil Gaiman geek. I always have been, always will be. I adore his work. And I think he's one of those people that I've probably read everything he's ever written. He's also responsible for the creation of Lucifer, so that's always a good thing. <laughs> Where do we start? This is an original audible drama. He is torn from his realm, the Sandman, the immortal king of dreams and stories and the imagination, was imprisoned on Earth for decades. On escaping, he must restore his powers, descend into hell to face Lucifer... Chase the rogue nightmares, visit a serial killer convention, cross paths with characters from the DC comic books, ancient myths, and real world history. This is a full drama. It's adapted and directed by multi award winning um, Derek Maggs and also features a cast including James McAvoy. Oh. Oh, 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 I, I'm having book gasms. What can I say about this? Not only is it well acted, the, I mean, seriously, it's so well acted, that the it, you get lost in it. Like, the voice cast is phenomenal, the score is stunning, the story is beautiful, it's this dark horror fantasy comedy mashup, and I've... Oh my god. <laughs> Neil Gaiman is just a phenomenal writer, and contrary to popular what um, Steve Donahue says, he is not overrated. He is a fantastic writer, and I mean, this is stunning. It 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 falls within that sort of dark fantasy genre, slightly more contemporary setting. It, it's very much set now. You have. A mold. It's like a genre mashup. You have urban fantasy, epic fantasy, historical drama, superheroes, it, it, historical figures, a cult culture. It's just, it's amazing. And like I've read through the graphic novels of the Sandman. I've got the 30th anniversary edition, which makes me feel very old. Um, <laughs> but oh my god. Um, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So, what can I, I... I mean, this is me being really honest. It's very, very hard not to spoil this. Because I don't want to spoil it for first-time listeners or readers of The Sandman or Neil Gaiman. It's... I mean, I, I'm not going to talk into anything, but some familiar characters will show up. So you have... James McAvoy's dreams. You have the character Death. You have John Constantine. You have Lucifer, played by Michael Sheen. You know, there's a lot of characters and things that turn up. And Neil Gaiman himself is the narrator. <laughs> it's just phenomenal. Like, I love Audible, and I'm very pro-audiobook. And I do love audio dramas. Being able to sit there and just switch off and listen to to something and just close your eyes and imagine it. it. It's spectacular. And yes, audiobooks are real books. Audio dramas are real, aren't books in the conventional sense, but they give everyone a voice. But they are, you're absorbing, you're absorbing written information via a different means. I mean, I, I could gab about Neil Gaiman and I might do a Neil Gaiman video at some point because... It's Neil Gaiman, you know. I I can literally list off hundreds of novels. Well, I say hundreds, but I can list off most of his work <laughs> and go, I love this. Like, everything from the Graveyard Book, The Sandman, obviously, American Gods, Caroline. Uh, where else do we start? Stardust, The Ocean at the End of the Lane. 
his short stories collections, his stuff that he's done with um, Pratchett and countless other things. Like, there is a lot there. And he's done everything through Marvel, through DC. He's, I mean, Batman, whatever happened to the Coke Crusader is phenomenal. You know, he is brilliant. And his adaptions on television are stunning. Do watch American Gods, by the way. And do watch Lucifer. They're my two favourites, but there's countless others. There are countless others. I mean, Beowulf, for example, is a great adaptation. We've all seen Stardust and Coraline. Takes that Sprawl the World, which is the music to the European version, which is beautiful. And the Americans didn't get that, which is a shame. Because no one in America knows who Take That is. Anyway, I could sit here and gab about this. But I just want to say, like, the writing is phenomenal. The characters, the pacing, the adaptation is beautifully handled it's beautifully done and the characters i'm slightly obsessed with i want to say this the characters i'm ever so slightly obsessed with because they're just funny and they're well written and handled brilliantly and each one is so distinctive and that i want to give kudos to the cast of this like the voice acting is phenomenal and i know i'm late to the party but oh my god this is good it's so good, and I literally came out, it's 10 hours of audio drama, and it's beautiful, and it's just, uh, you know, bookgasms, 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 yes, that's a new phrase, bookgasms, and I will keep saying it, bookgasms, but yeah, the, um, it's just brilliantly put together, it's brilliantly handled, it's stunning, and just, I'm genuinely shocked how good it was. I listened to it over the last few weeks, and um, so I tend to do them in chunks, but it's stunning. And I will be listening to this again. If you have an odd Audible credit, please check this out. There is more to audio, Audible than audiobooks, and um, these audio Audible, I have problems saying that word, originals are spectacular. So as always, check it out. For anyone new to this channel, hi, and please like and subscribe. Like I said at the beginning, all of my information is in the doobly-doo below. I also host a podcast called The Viking Writer, which you need to check out. Please, I want more people to listen to my podcast. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.